So this time with another unboxing from Savannah, Illinois, Cats Bros Lures. From Savannah, Illinois, all the way to Hillsboro, Oregon, to my house. It's right there. Fragile. It's okay. I know it's in there. It's not super fragile, all right? It's all right. So I can bounce it. Ready for, to see what's in there? I'm excited. I'm quite, actually, I'm very excited. Great thing about Cats Bros Lures and buying from cats from their website is there's a really, when you buy like $40 worth, you get like a dollar twenty nine off. So do the math there. Like for every one point one dollar you spend, you get point zero five cents off. So I mean that's a pretty good. You spend hundred bucks, you're gonna have ten bucks off. I mean that's pretty good. Other places, you can spend five hundred bucks and get five dollars off. So they have a really good rewards program there. There's a huge big box store that we bought a Traeger Grill from. Five, six hundred bucks, right? And I'll tell you the company in a minute. But uh, we bought it. Look at the rewards. We got five bucks off for spending five hundred dollars. You would think it would be more than that. That company was Sportsman's Warehouse. How are they supposed to keep anybody satisfied with the rewards if they're going to do that? This place, Casper's Lures, for every dollar you spend is point zero five cents off. So spend forty bucks to get all something off that's pretty good that's a lot better than sportsman's warehouse so spend your money at cash rose lures that's very exciting that's very very good business strategy there now let's open this side right down the face here i don't need the uh receipt because i know what's in there little note stuck in the box here let's see what this says Ooh, it's kind of ripped a little bit, but that's all right. The writing wasn't. Mmm, I know what's in there. You guys, can you wait? Can you? You probably, probably can't wait to see what's in there. Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm good. Thanks, Anthony. Have a good one. Kellen Katz. Personal notes. That's the key to good business. Trust me. If you write a good note, people are going to come back because it adds a personal touch. Mmm. Little thing on top here. The extra box. If I need to ship it back, which I don't, because I'm keeping this. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Smells like glands, but I didn't order any glands, so you know it's a business that makes lures. It sells lure parts, because that smells good. Mmm, smells good. It's, there's some insulation here, pit newspaper. <laughs> we don't get the newspaper anymore, I totally forgot they even still... Publish it. <laughs> so many people get on their phones now. Some more insulation. So I talked to Kellen Cass a little bit, a little bit here and there. Um, and if you recall my last video, if you go back to my mixed feelings video about the mud, Cass Mud Road, then you go down in the comments. Kyle Cass got on and said, you need to try the product that's in here because it has the smell that you're looking for. And, um, that's what I thought made the lure so good. But then I got a second lure and I was like, crap, it's completely different. All I smell is muskrat glands in there. Because I bought muskrat glands separate because I thought the lure was going to smell like this. So I wanted two different approaches. But when I got the second lure, it smelled pretty much the same as muskrat glands. It had no other smell to it. And so, they were completely different. Like, almost like they forgot what label was on what. But... So I decided to get this instead and not buy the lure because if the, I'm gonna, the lure's gonna smell like the second bottle, then why buy the lure at all? So not talking bad about, talk, not talking smack about killing cats and their lures, but if I wanted to smell, if I wanted 100% smell of muskrat glands, I'd buy muskrat glands, not Mud Road. That has no other smell to it. So whereas the first one had a strong, amazing smell to it, amazing aroma. Second one just pure muskrat glands. Like you could have took the label off the new mud road I bought and put it on the um, muskrat glands and I wouldn't have known the difference. They smelled the same. That's pretty sad. Because they had a killer lure there. But, um, you know, if you like, if it works for you, buy it. Because I know their lures work and I'm going to buy more of their stuff because it just works. And they sell things that other companies don't like. Processed fish, paste, which is a carp base. They sell all kinds of bobcat meat. 
muskrat meat, beaver meat, skunk meat. They smell, so all this stuff preserved in ground. So, I mean, if I need a little bit of meat, God forbid I can get my own. But, I mean, I don't always preserve mine. I usually just throw it out there. And I have a funny feeling when you put it out there. At times, it sits there so long that it goes spoils. So, I think that's where the preserving the meat goes in. It, before the animals get there, or... It's spoiled before the animals get there. So that's where the preserving aspect comes in. So I think we're going to buy some preservatives and stuff like that. Preserve my meat so it lasts longer. And then it has longer smell. And doesn't go rancid first. Because if you're targeting coon, you put some meat out and it goes rancid, the possums and stuff are going to start coming because they like that stuff. So you're going to start miscatching. You're going to start catching targets that you're not targeting. But that's still in season, so it doesn't really matter. But sometimes the money's in certain species... Whereas other species is not. Like possum, there's no money in that right now. Coons, is really not a lot of money in it either. But I want the coon pelts because I want to have some novelty items. Muskrat. This is also going to be good for muskrat. I'm going to spray a little near my muskrat sets. Muskrat are, get, are going up in price. So tube skin. This is a little bit of fur market stuff. Tube skin muskrat, like case skinned, is five, six dollars. Last year in Idaho, it went for the prices. That. Round skin, like you skin a beaver, you know, skin up and then open it up. Flat skinned or round skinned, they went for seven dollars. They went for more, so there's a little bit of insight there. You gotta catch some muskrats this year. Do half tube or case skin and half round, and trust me, the round ones are gonna get more money, and the prices are still going up. So take advantage of that. That's just a little side information. Here's the package. Here, the box goes aside. This is quite exciting for me. They tied it in a good old knot here. Here comes my fisherman skills here. Because you know how I undo knots all the time. I can just glance at it and undo it. <laughs> I've un un untied so many knots versus cutting the line sometimes. And then cutting the line. So I want to save lures. Or test my skills. This right here. Money. Money. Do I need to say it any louder again? Money. <laughs> Ulti Mag Cherry. This stuff. We'll get once we get it all out. I'll be smelling it. It's gold, boy. It's gold. It is gold, nine stuff. That stuff, liquid gold. Another ultimate cherry or ulti cherry mag smell. And then another ulti mag cherry smell. That's three. Then the top off right at forty bucks. I got some fish oil. So there's that. Mmm, smells really good. You know they're a, a lure company when you can you get an overwhelming smell like different glands and stuff. So, yeah, that's quite exciting. The um, it's in saran wrap or cling wrap, which is awesome. It didn't leak. So here's a good thing about their bottles: no leakage whatsoever in there, zero leakage. Didn't leak at all. Shipping. So buy at the Cash Bros with confidence that your lures are going to get there in one piece. They're going to be well wrapped. I'm having a hard time unwrapping it. And, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. A couple wraps around here. Maybe six or seven wraps. But there's the um, fish oil. And here's a tip. You know you can buy fish oil from other companies. Everybody sells fish oil. But not everybody gives you a flip top. That's pretty cool. Other times I have to take the top of the gun and Spill it a little bit and do it that way. But they give you a flip top. So I almost bought a second flip top just to put on these because I wasn't sure. They come with a flip top. See that? That right there, not everybody does. So buy from Cats Bros Lures once again. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just quite excited to get this stuff because I've wanted this stuff for like four or five years now. Long before I bought the Mud Road Lure, I wanted the cherry smell. Right? I... I read the mud road and it was like, oh, it's a sweet, sweet smell. I was like, I got to get it. It might be perfect. Hoping for a cherry smell. I know I should have just bought the Ulti Mag in the beginning, but I bought that because I thought it was a well complex lure. And then I was like, yeah, this stuff smells great. By a second one, it wasn't good. But now I got the thing that I think was put into the lure that makes it over the top. In other words, they also had cherry oil, which they sell, which is great for stuff um, in there. But that, I think this is the mix of that and some other preservatives and long-lasting stuff that extend the life of the cherry oil um, fish oil this stuff is a nice dark oil there's some companies out there that do a really really light light oil and you know it's not going to be as strong the darker the oil the stronger the smell right this is a nice dark 
dark oil. You know, putting the light there, still pretty dang dark. And um, very high quality. And the way they wrapped it, there is zero, absolutely zero spilling on the outside. None. This has zero spillage. You would see right there, where I'm showing you there, it would be shiny if any of it spilled. That little bit of shininess is wrapping on the inside, keeping it solid. But uh, that's like paper. You hear that a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's zero spill, nothing spilled. The outside is completely clean. So the way they package their lures and baits and oils is crucial to getting your stuff and getting all your money's worth. So the fish oil, home run, top of the line. Let's check the, um, what is this? Ch Ulti Mag Cherry. I'm just going to call it the Ultimate Cherry. That's what I'm going to call it, the Ultimate Cherry here. So it, it's, that's all it is. It's like cherry essence and some other preservatives and stuff to enhance the smell. And a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good, man. That smells good. Um, it's a beautiful color. This stuff is very good. They also come with a spritz lid, a flip lid. So, that what that tells me is these guys aren't going to charge you for a bottle and then it's 75 cents, 80 cents, or $1.25 for a lid also. So, you have to buy a separate to make extra money off you. They're in it to give you the complete package to go out on the line right now and spray it. They aren't going to charge you extra or charge you over the top for stuff like lids just to get all the money out of you they can. They're going to give you quality products, quality products with quality lids. They're not going to try to drain you of your bank. They're trap, they're, they are trappers for trappers. What I mean by that is they're going to give you the best bang for your buck with the best quality lure. They're not going to take all your money. They are trappers give, helping other trappers. They're not a business selling to trappers, which means if a business is selling to trappers or that's what they're in for selling, they're going to charge you for lids. They just give you a blank lid that doesn't have a top on it like that. So they're trappers for helping trappers. That's crucial. That's what that tells me. They're going to they're gonna spare no expense on helping the trapper. I'm going to open this one because it... Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that this is exactly what I was smelling in the mud road. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. That right there, boys. Ooh. And this is a vacuum sealed, I think, lid on there, but um Yeah. That that's prime, man. I've used fish oil last year, didn't do much good for me. This stuff is stronger than fish oil, so that's why I took this. And I think it's sweet. And the raccoons and animals like that like sweet stuff. You know, they're always in people's garbages, digging stuff out, eating stuff. Cat food, sweets, candy. They're always in, if you ever bait for bear, they're in the baited bear sets where there's like candy stuff. They're all ripping it up. This stuff. Oh, I, I kind of want to drink it. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. For sure. Very, very high quality. Oh, it smells good. It smells like candy. It smells like Laffy Taffy, like a soft Laffy Taffy. Like if it had a banana flavor or a cherry flavor, a soft Laffy Taffy has that strong smell like that. That's a very good smell. It smells sweet and good. Oh, I want to eat it. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Definitely a home run with the Ulti Mag Cherry. If you're looking for something other than the fish oil, I know fish oil, they say it dissipates. This is not going to dissipate as fast as fish oil. I know fish oil is oil. This is an oil base, I think. Or a glycerin base with cherry oil and stuff like that in there. So this is going to last a long time. It's going to be more freeze-proof, I think, than fish oil. Because fish oil itself is more of an oil. This is more of a glycerin and oil base. In in my mind, that's what I think it is. Um, Kyle Katz might get here saying, no, there's no glycerin in it. No, it may, may not be. But it's has a very strong cherry smell and it may be all cherry oil but for the price of it i mean you can't beat it <laughs> that's pretty damn awesome i love to hear i would love to hear kyle katz and kellen katz and some of them talk about this in one of their videos i know they just uploaded fur prices 
If you haven't seen that, go to Kyle Cat's video and watch that. But um, I would love to see him do some more videos on this their products. Like, I, see, I'm doing a lot of videos on scents and lures and trailing scents and something for me to do the past time prepping for the season, get you guys content, right? I think I would love to see Kyle Cat's do some more specific videos on this stuff. The cherry mag, some of his lures. Um, advertise more like that. Tell us more about it. Because I know a lot of his lures, I go on there, I'm like, you know, I know it. I know Coyote 1 oh, eight, eight, one eight hundred Coyote, or whatever that gland lure is, skunk lure. The 1 800 Predator has a lot of skunk lure. Well, I mean, it's skunk, skunky lure, that's all I know. That's it. I don't know anything about it. So I would love to see him do videos on their, on their, um, Products. Because I want to I want to know more about the products. I love their products. I love this. I love their beaver lure. The mud road, you know, was a fluke. I guarantee it was a fluke. It just it just happened, you know. Um But I love their products. Their oils, their all that stuff is just so high quality when you look at them. It's like it blows my mind how high quality the Casper lures is. This cherry stuff. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I got to stop smelling. <laughs> I'm going to want to drink it. It's hard to like, mix it in with a little bit of water or mix it, just drink it pure. It just smells so good. A very sweet, sweet cherry smell. Very good stuff. So if you're going to check Casper Zulu's out, I got two more over here. They're, they're the same stuff as the cherry. Go check out their fish oils. Very high quality, very good dark color, which is a very good, strong color. Or strong smell and good quality. The cherry oil is another one that's going to be a hit. I'm going to use more cherry oil this year than this. When I used this last year, I think it was just bad timing. It rained, it froze, and then it was gone. I couldn't smell it anymore. So I don't, I think it was just bad timing. So I'm going to try it again this year. And I'm trying Cat's Bros fish oil this year. Not just a big supply house of fish oil. So hopefully, since Cat's Bros is a smaller company, they're going to spare no expense in their lure, which this color and stuff proves to me that they aren't which is good so we're going to check their lures out check out cast bros lures or cost bros lures fish oil ultimag cherry fantastic stuff the cherry's going to work on muskrat um muskrat coon possum you think it likes a little sweet oil i would think it would work in a little bit of beaver too because i know beaver the curiosity aspect of it will get them with the uh cherry smell so try their like i said try their fish oils and ultimag Cherry, you're gonna be super impressed with them. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. I know there's a high percentage of you guys that are watching these that aren't subscribed. It would do me a huge favor if you subscribe. Um, have a great day and just go out there and have fun this season. Trap some animals.